Okay, YouTube, so this is Jerry. Um, I have a lawnmower that doesn't run. I have big lawns, as if you've watched my videos, you'll know. So I have another lawnmower that doesn't run. This is not a self-propelled, but it doesn't work. The carburetor's no good. I've rebuilt it a couple of times, and it's just had it. So I've been watching videos on YouTube about making lawnmowers run on fuel vapor. So I've got a hose, a little can, my glue gun, um, here's the fittings I'm going to use. It's a threaded three-quarter, one-inch, I don't know where it is. A half-inch 90 a cap. Uh, my glue gun and some little pieces of pipe. We're going to see if we can, with just stuff that I found laying around my garage, if I can make this lawnmower actually run on fuel vapor. So I'm going to make videos as I go, and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to turn this off, pause it until the next step. Okay, so here's what I've come up with. This threaded fitting actually threads kind of into the carburetor right there. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue from my glue gun on it to make sure it doesn't vibrate loose. Um, I found, uh, where's my little cap piece? Oh, got this little plug. It's a cap, plug, whatever. Fits into this really well. This fits into here. I had to do a little grinding to make it work, but that and a little glue gun and it should work. So this is going to go like this. And uh, then this hose will go into the little bottle. It's not going to take me but about 15 more minutes. I'll be done with this. Okay, so there's step two. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Okay, well, I've got these pieces put in. You can see I just glue gunned it up. Real scientific, I'm using a glue gun. So now I have to drill a hole in this lid for it to fit into the bottle so that I can... Oh, sorry about that. So I can... Uh, um, get the vapor out of the bottle. So that's the next thing. So I'm going to do that now. Step three is done. I drilled the hole. Actually, I made the hole exactly a tight fit for the hose like I did on this one. So now I'm going to push this into here. I'm not even going to, well, maybe I'll put a drop of glue stick glue on it just to hold it together. And the next thing is I have to mount the bottle. So I'll do that next. Okay, so I mounted the bottle real scientifically again. I used uh, some wire ties, the plastic wire ties from Harbor Freight that I had in the house, or in my shop. Um, and I put some glue gun glue on it to kind of, you know, because lawnmowers inevitably, nothing, you know, they always shake around, you know, when you're cutting the grass. And if this actually does work, I don't want the bottle falling off. So I'm kind of, you can say, I just put a little more glue on it right there to kind of secure it a little better. So now what I need to do is cut this hose so it just fits in the cap, like an inch down, and that's it. And then I need to put a, a couple of air holes in it here that the other hose goes all the way down into the gasoline. And I guess that what happens when you try and start it, the gas sucks in this way, pulls the air in this way, and creates bubbles, which creates the fumes, and the fumes go back through the hose into the carburetor. So we'll see what happens. I'll let you know in the next one. I'm back. So I've drilled the holes into the bottle and you can see if you look they go all the way to the bottom. There's a hole in the cap. This is the hose that comes out of my carburetor. Um, so now all that's left to do if this is going to work literally is put gas in the bottle so it covers up the bottom hoses. I've only got a little tiny bit of gas anyway so um, and set it on the floor and try and start it and see what happens. <laughs> I'm, if it runs, I'm going to be kind of, it's going to amaze me, but I got nothing to lose. The lawnmower just is junk. Anyway, it's been sitting in my yard. Literally, it sat for four years. I started it, got it to run, it cut a bunch of grass with it, let it sit for another all winter, and now it won't run. But I know the lawnmower, it's got a good motor in it. It does run well when it runs, but the carburetor's bad. So this just seems like an easy fix. I'm, you basically bypass the whole carburetor issue. So... We'll see what happens, and I'll be back. I put gas in it. You can see there's a little bit of gas in the bottom. It's maybe, I'm gonna guess it's an inch deep. Um, this is just an old juice bottle. So if this is supposed to work, it should work. I don't know, I, I really don't know. So what I'm gonna do is see if I can make it so you can see me do the startup. And, uh, We'll see what happens here. Let's see if I can get this to work a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. My bench is kind of in the way, but 
Now these phones are, oh, there we go. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna just uh, pull the cord and see what happens. Make sure my, this thing's got a lot of issues because it's an old lawnmower, but we'll see. So far, nothing. I'm starting to think it's crap. Could be me. I'm not gonna. Okay, I'm gonna clean the carburetor. I mean, clean the uh, carburetor, clean the spark plug, and we'll do it again. Okay, I'm back again. So I cleaned the spark plug, which was not fouled, but it was a little rusty looking. And I also kind of cheated. I put a little bit of uh, quick start ether into the bottle to see if that'll just give it a, a boost or whatever. I, want. I just want it to fire once, and then I'll. Well, I'm not having any luck whatsoever with this. Um, a bunch of crap in the carburetor here. It could be, you know, that it's me. I don't know how that's possible, but it is possible that I'm... But it, or not even the fire. That's weird. Okay, so we're going to put pull the tube out. Up there. And I'm going to put a little quick start right into the hose. I'm not saying that's going to do anything, but at least we have a chance now, maybe. I don't even, to me, it's not even firing. So. We're going to check a few other things and I'll get back to you and see what else. Okay. What I, I've messed with it for a little while. What I figured out is I think it's not getting enough air even through the bottle. Which I don't really understand because I'm using exactly what I see on YouTube on another channel. By just coincidence. But if I put quick start in it now I have this, this disconnected. So it starts. As soon as I connect this, it stops. So that's telling me, I think, that it's not getting enough air or it's getting too much air, but I can't see too much air. So you'll see what happens here. I'll put the quick start in it here. It's basically just squirting it into the carb, hooking the hose back up. get nothing. Only in fire. I wonder if I took this out. Look at that. Look at that. So does that mean I'm not getting enough air to it? Is that what this means? That my hose is going into the tank aren't enough. Okay so I'm going to try something else. I'll let you know. Okay, so after checking it out, thinking about it, the problem was it wasn't getting enough air. Bonehead me, I forgot, I just ran it from the carburetor into the gas. I didn't give it any air, so I've been spending the last 15 minutes. That was my first fix. I thought, oh, I'll make more air to it. That didn't work, obviously, because it had no intake. You have to remember to put a T there so you have an intake. Now, I haven't tried it yet. I had to take it all completely apart which means I'm waiting now for the glue gun glue to dry. I'm going to give it a few minutes. Um, this should make it run. Um, if it doesn't run now, I'm going to call all these videos bogus because the lawnmower works. I've done exactly what it says. Um, I think I'm going to run out of time here in a couple of minutes. If I do, I will restart the video again, and it will be a part two. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay. I got to see if I'm going to run out of time here. So everything's connected up. I don't have any quick start in it. It's just air, bubbler, whatever. And um, 
Okay, it seems like it's going to keep going, so we're going to try and start it and see what happens. And here we go. Not seeing no joy here, so I'm going to put a little quick start in it right here, which should get pretty close into the carburetor, and we're going to try it again. Time with a quick start. Okay, here we go. It sounds like it's trying. Be it not enough air now or something else, I don't know. But uh, I'll try one more time. start one more time give it as much help as it can get and we'll see what happens okay here we go could it be getting too much air now maybe don't sound like it's gonna work though I just don't think so so um, could be a few issues. You know, it could be that this seal isn't good enough here. I don't think so. Um, could be there's an air leak somewhere else. I don't know. It's trying. So. I think it's just starting off. Hold off again a second. Okay, I did a little more experimenting off camera. I took this piece of cardboard and I shoved it in here. So I'm restricting some of the airflow and guess what it did? It started and ran. Of course, now it goes, but it did a minute ago. So I'm gonna Hit the quick start again, and uh, put this back in here, and see if that fixes it. So I think it's still too much air, because, uh, okay, let me get another piece of cardboard going on. Okay. So I'm just taking a piece of cardboard and rolling it up, and jamming it in the hole a little, and seeing if that does it. Not too scientific. None of this. It don't seem like it's going to do crap. So let's put this in there. It did run for a half a minute or a minute before I shut it off. So I don't know if it was. Maybe I just have too not enough cardboard. Maybe. didn't run very good by the way. It just started. I won't say that it was going to cut grass. See, I think I have just a little too much now. I'm going to take a piece of it off. 
start again. So I'm starting to see that the air intake is a big deal. Well, that's the most we got out of it so far. So, try it again, a little less. Sure the camera's still working. It is. 13 minutes, huh? I'm impressed.